M.B. Davis as Alice Nelson. M.B. Davis died of subdural hematoma after a fall in 2014 at the age of 88. Maureen McCormick as Marsha Brady. Robert Reed was a closeted gay man. Florence Henderson noticed early on that he appeared uncomfortable acting romantically with her, and he admitted the truth to her privately. They worked around it, rehearsing kissing and hugging scenes off-camera, so they would look more natural when it came time to film them. The entire cast kept Reed's sexual orientation a secret until after his death. Robert Reed as Mike Brady Robert Reed died of colon lymphoma and complications of AIDS in 1992 at the age of 60. Florence Henderson as Carol Brady Florence Henderson died of a heart failure in 2016 at the age of 83. The family dog Tiger was killed by a car in season 1 of the show before the filming of episode 5 was completed. A replacement dog proved to be unworkable. Tiger's doghouse remained on the set, though, because one of the studio lights fell and burned a hole through the astroturf, and the doghouse was used to hide the burn spot. Barry Williams as Greg Brady Christopher Knight as Peter Brady Sherwood Schwartz's technique for auditioning child actors and actresses was to set out a bunch of toys on his desk, then during the interview see if the child paid attention to him or was distracted by the toys. If the toys went unheeded, Schwartz knew the child had the concentration needed to work on a television series. Eve Plum as Jan Brady Susan Olsen as Cindy Brady During the series' run, Florence Henderson lobbied the producers constantly to allow Carol Brady to get out into the workforce. Henderson thought this would be more in line with how she was in real life. The producers kept the character of Carol Brady unemployed, though she frequently did volunteer work and fundraising for charity. Mike Look Inland as Bobby Brady Alan Melvin as Sam Franklin Robbie Rist as Oliver A scene in The Brady Bunch, The Honeymoon, makes it clear Mike's first wife had died, making him a widower, but the status of Carol's first marriage was kept a secret. Creator Sherwood Schwartz maintained Carol was divorced from her first husband, but nothing about it was mentioned on the series. At that time, divorce was a subject matter that was still considered largely taboo for television, particularly a series aimed at family audiences.